What's up everyone? Welcome to a special edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, and my special guest, Katie, here at Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today, she's gonna teach you how to roller skate at the park. Check it out. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a pro skater and I live in Half Moon Bay, California. I skated 11 years of roller derby, six years at the skate park, and about 13 years continuously. The skill level for this lesson is beginner and intermediate. The risk levels for this lesson are low to medium. Inline skating has been around since the 1700s and was first seen on stage performances in London. The first patented roller skate was designed in France in 1819 and strapped to your shoes. In 1863, the first quad skate was born and by 1880 started to be mass produced in New York City. For this lesson, it helps if you can knee slide on flat, knee slide down transitions. If you don't know how to do these, please find them on the channel, watch them, learn, and catch up. Here are the things you should do. Wear a quality helmet with secured chin strap. Wear high quality pads. Learn how to knee slide without skates first. You can learn this from the knee slides video on this channel. Install leather toe guards on your skates to prevent damaging them from knee slides. Bring a bottle of water and a skate tool to adjust your skates if needed. Watch more experienced skaters and skateboarders ride around the park so you get an idea of the flow. Warm up by skating around and doing simple tricks to get in the groove. Be respectful and stay out of the way of other skaters using the park. Be alert and pay attention to your surroundings when skating. Practice enough to build confidence and understanding. Stretch and foam roll after skating while your body is loose. Ice your knees and other sore body parts after skating as this aids in recovery. Here are things you shouldn't do. Don't skate without knee pads. Do not stand straight and tall while learning. Always keep the knees bent and head forward. Do not lean backward while going down any ramps. The first thing I'm gonna help you with is learning about the quality in a pair of roller skates. What four skates to buy and why? The 336 is good for park skating. It offers a lot of ankle support and is the best design for advanced skating. This is my personal favorite skate, and this is my pro model. This is the Moxie Jack Boot. It starts pretty stiff, but loosens over time. Two options for introductory skating are the Kaya Skate and the Bont Park Star, but I gave those away. Common questions. How to adjust your skates for beginners. When standing on your toe stops, your back wheel should come two fingers off the ground. What is your skate recommendation for skate parks versus streets? I tend to use the same setup, but for streets I use softer wheels, and for the skate park I use harder wheels. I tend to use the SPF, or skate park formula. Any immediate upgrades that can help. Wide trucks so you can add skate wheels. Common brands are penny skate trucks or sib skate trucks. Basic parts of skates and function. Trucks and how to adjust. Looser trucks are better, and the more comfortable you get with your skating, the looser your trucks should be. Wheels. Harder wheels are better for skating in the skate park. Start with softer wheels, about 90 hardness, and the Moxie Fun Day wheels are good wheels to start with. Move to a harder durometer like the SPF or the Smoothie wheel. For bearings, I prefer Smoothie Classic bearings or Bones Red work well too. Toe stoppers. Make sure to replace stock toe stops with something that'll grip on concrete. Grind blocks, they help with slides on ledges and coping. They're not necessary, but they're really helpful. They're the only way to slide and they prevent you from hanging up. The best block on the market is the Bigfoot block. For the street, here are some important facts about roller skating. Here is the body position while roller skating. Here are some pro tips on how to wear your skates. Always put your knee pads on first, then lace your skates. Lace them from the bottom to the top, looser around the toes and tighter around the ankle to prevent your heel from slipping. Here's how to stand in balance while wearing your skates. Stand with your shoulders matching your feet and your head centered over your skates. Remember, your body goes where your head goes, so keep your head forward while learning so you fall to your knee pads if you lose your balance. Here are the simple steps for roller skating streets. Here's how to lean into your push-offs. 
keep your knees gently bent and your head forward as you lean forward and push off. It helps to keep one or both skates at a 45 degree V to prevent unintentional rolling while standing. This depends on how level the ground is though. Lean off and push off into a slow to medium speed with one foot faced out to a 45 degree angle to create traction of the wheel on the ground. Lean your head over the skate that is in the lead. Create a rhythm by switching your head back and forth over the skate that is in the lead. As you get better, you can relax more and simply lean into your pushes. Here is how you should look while you're rolling. Skate with your knees bent and head gently over your toes as if someone was gonna try to push you over. You wanna be quick and ready for action. So this stance will keep your leg muscles engaged and your head up looking at the ground ahead of you, especially to check for anything on the ground that could make you fall. The more nervous you are, the more you should bend your knees while trying something new. These are wheel drags, and this is how you learn to slow down. Skate with your head leaned over your lead leg. Drag the inside wheels of your back skate at a 45 degree angle to slow down. The harder you drag your leg into the ground, the faster you will slow down. Here is how to lead turn. From a rolling stance, push off into a slow or medium speed. Lean your head over the outside edge of your skate in the direction you want to turn. If you want to turn left, lean left. And if you want to turn right, lean over your right skate. The more you lean, the more you can turn. Here is how to cross over turn. From a rolling stance, push off into a slow or medium speed. Lean your head over the outside edge of your skate in the direction you want to turn. Put full weight on it as you push off the opposite leg and cross that leg in front of the leg you're balanced on. Here are the main ways to stop. To plow stop, turn both feet inward in front of your body and dig into a squat position. The most effective stop is called a hockey stop. For the hockey stop, both feet turn the same direction abruptly and you lean back to counterbalance. Here is how to skate backwards on flat. From standing, start with your feet matching your shoulders. Center your weight on your strong leg. Your opposite leg will pull behind your heel and flick past. Here is how to heel toe spin. Balance on the front truck of one skate and the back truck of the other skate. Spin towards the skate that is on the front truck. Use your arms to help balance. Remember to use your shoulders to create momentum. Momentum helps control your spin speed. Here is how to knee slide on flat to stay safe while learning. This is the most important. Please watch the knee slides video on the channel and learn without skates first. Next, learn them with skates. Here is how to bail. Just go with the momentum. Lean your head forward and into your slide. Here are a few pro tips for this lesson. At every level of skating, be prepared to break down your tricks into manageable parts to learn safely. Plan your bails ahead of time so you know how you're going to fall if needed. Staggering your foot stance helps with balance for newer skaters. Bring your foot stance closer together as you feel more comfortable. This will make landing tricks easier. If you opt for wider trucks, a wide stance is more helpful so you don't clip your own wheels. Here are the simple steps for skating transitions. Here is the foot setup position for how to drop in. Skate up to the coping. Plant your rear leg just behind the coping. Using your rear foot, put down your toe stop. Squat down and lean your chest over your front leg, which is your lead leg. Lean in and keep your head in towards the bottom of the ramp. Knees bent and your feet staggered. 
Your bail is to slide on your back knee. Here is the foot setup position for how to pump. Think about touching your skate at the top of your momentum. It'll help you know when to put pressure into your feet and it'll help you be more compact when pumping. Here is the foot setup position for how to turn on ramps. Lift up the front truck on your lead foot so that when you pivot, only six wheels are on the transition. Start your turn with a wider rainbow shape. As you get more comfortable, you can narrow that shape in order to air. If you mess up, here is how to bail on a ramp. When wearing knee pads and wrist guards, think about being cat-like and sliding on your knee pads and your wrist guards. If you're only wearing knee pads, focus your weight on your back legs as you slide. Here are some related trick ideas to inspire you for more combinations, such as half cab stalls, fakie stalls, front side stalls, for intermediate, air to fakie, front side air, for advanced, slides, front side slide, fakie slide, half cab slide. For pro, adding grabs into your airs. Seat belt grab, judo air, air to fakie with a grab. The skate term for this lesson is side stance. This is when both of your heels face into each other and your knees face outward. Brian Wainwright is a legend in roller skating and would skate vert in the side stance position. He was also a great skateboarder. We'd like to give a big thank you for having Katie come teach us how to roller skate today. Remember that this is a channel and we have many more videos to help you. Please share this channel with your friends or anyone who you think would benefit from it and they'll appreciate your consideration. Please consider sending a donation to help us keep the channel alive. Donation details in the description box below. Leave us your comments or represent your country, including any questions you may have, ideas or lessons for future videos, and your thoughts or feedback about this video so we can continue to do our best to help you reach your goals. We hope you were inspired by this video and gain a better understanding of roller skating. Please support us, click that like and subscribe button to encourage us to make a new video for you every week. Thanks again for watching and be sure to meet us back here for more of your favorite skate park lessons. This is, this is, well, yeah, this is how this goes. I feel better. Yeah. It's weird when you have to like think your sentence before you say it. Mm -hmm. All right, do it. I teach kids, I'm always like making myself into weird shapes. Yeah, you shapes. can be totally goofy and people love it. People yeah. love it. Run out or knee slide. Nah, you don't do that. Well, yeah, yeah, you can't run out. You can't run out. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs>